different pieces speak to different people. And that's one thing that I really love about music in general. It's just, who are you and what do you want to hear today? To play with her, she, she's amazing. She's a great violinist. She has a very fine intonation and she has fantastic control of the bow. She's as gifted as you can be. I think she's probably one of the most technically gifted fiddle players in the world. I've always wanted to write something for her. She has incredible ability. People tend to first talk about the kind of perfection, almost digital perfection of her intonation and technique. To me, that's um, secondary. One of the reasons we love Hillary is because she's willing to be a little bit different. She's willing to think a little bit out of the box. I'm purely a classical musician, but I happen to also do other things from time to time. I just like working on music, and it doesn't matter to me where it is or what it is, as long as it's something that's appealing to me and it's with musicians who put a lot of value on the work that they do. I try my best, and that's you know that's what's important to me in trying to challenge my my experiences and trying something new. And it's one of those things you have to do to learn. As I said, the last time I played here, I was 14, and I wanted to come back here. I remembered how great it was to play for everyone in a school context, but also for a group of musicians. I've been slightly terrified as well about tomorrow's concert, so. Fingers crossed. Not when I'm playing, but now. I thought that you'd probably um, appreciate the, the diversity of the program. It's like a, like a volcano. I've been wanting to go to Iceland for a long time. It's one of these Places it seems kind of like a frontier, but people are charging forward to, to push the frontier. The best approach in that point of time is um, not to have an approach, I would say. Okay, so let's play together. It's a matter of leaving it all open so we can be really creative. The big difference for me is that nothing is written, so... I'm taking these off. You could say that nothing previously existed, but in fact I'm drawing on everything I've done. I don't think of the fact that I'm not playing classical music all the time. I mean, to me it's all kind of related. Where is she heading to? Boy, that's a good question, you know, because I think the best thing in the world for a performer is to commission a works, because that means that performer is making history. This project is 27 new pieces for violin and piano. I personally commissioned uh, 26 of them. I found all of the composers I wanted to work with. All of these composers, in, in some fashion, wrestled with the question of what the perfect encore would be for Hillary. It was a pretty nerve-wracking process, but also really exciting. That was a really beautiful take, though. In this rather complicated field and crowded field, she's somebody who makes her own decisions, her musical decisions, she's in charge. I am announcing a contest. A contest. I think it really is just a matter of following the sort of path that an artistic life leads you on. One of the things that, that I particularly love, um, seeing this evolution from a kind of a child protege, grown into a confident and mature artist. I 
if you don't follow things that interest you, you may miss out on opportunities that may bring you full circle back to where you started as a much stronger individual and stronger artist. Mm -hmm.